hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials today i'll show you this type of movie poster making so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so here i took a background and i took uh, all the things like okay let's see what i have done here at first here the group and color correction here the rectangle and the city the name title and the like uh, cast and crews and awards color lookups and here the gradient and here the city for the double exposure and i made here dodge burning process for the model and two lights that is the red and blue lights and here is my model and here is some brushes so let's start the tutorial okay i'm closing it up the file and take a new canvas or artboard whatever you can tell from here i'm taking the a4 size and hit the create button so that's fine and then go to the adjustment layer and go to the solid color and i'll take the hash type color like that now take a new like layer and here the brush tools and take the brush this one i'll provide you the brush for this one for this purpose and here is the brush like uh, this here so make the brush size increase by pressing here and just select once before that you have to make it black yeah that's fine and press ctrl j and press ctrl t so just rotate it out that's good and take another one brush like this make the brush size bigger like that yeah that's good and this brush so different types of brush you can take make the brush size bigger like that yeah that's good and now go to the file and open up here is the model and i'll cut it out this model this is very easy so just at first just make it like crop press c from the keyboard or here is the crop tool you can use that and just crop it out and then just go to the magic one tool and just select once it will select and then just go to the select options and invert and then minus or alter button and just deselect this one and deselect this portion so that's good and then mask it out for the select options and press the shift button and hold it and select and mask options and set up will be like that that's good it will take time so and make the brush size bigger and here is a new layer with the layer mask select this one and hit ok yeah that's fine it's done now just press ctrl j and right press and apply layer mask so take this png file and drag it in a side beside window and press ctrl t and make it smaller like that and hit the tick button and i'm closing this one so that's good and then just mask it out and go to the gradient tool and select the gradient the last one and just mask it out don't mask it too much so this portion so that's fine now mask is ready so i'll work with it so after that just select this model and go to the filter and go to the camera filter i will apply the things the color correction and other stuff make it zoom and here the mid tone or variance make it like minus 30 and highlight will be up and the blacks will be like that and contrast will be like that yeah that's good and the shadow will be like that yeah that's good and go to the detail option increase the sharpness and noise reduction increase and hit the ok button yeah that's fine and then take a new blank layer and right press and just create clipping mask and after that go to the edit option and go to the fill option and make it 50 percent gray and hit the tick button and then go to the blending mode into like hard light yeah that's good 
and now i'll apply the dodge and burn process so here is the dodge and burn process dodge for the highlight and burn for the shadow brush those portion which one you want to make it enlightened so i'll make it like that and then the burn tool so i'll apply the burn tool over here over here here as well the hairs that's good and this area this area and then go to the file and place embedded options here is the city and i'll provide you that city photo in my video description so i'll make it smaller like that and right press restylize this one and make it create clipping mask and make the blending mode into skin that's good yeah and then mask it out and here the gradient tool and mask over it that's good and now go to the adjustment and go to the brightness and contrast and make it mask and make it like that yeah that's good that's fine so i'll make it group yeah press ctrl t and make it a little bit bigger and just place it out in the downside that's fine and now our solid layer here i'll give the color like that yeah that's fine and go to the adjustment layer and go to the color lookup options from here foggy nights and make it a little bit down the opacity yeah that's fine and then again adjustment layer and gradient map now take these gradient options and make it like this and make this one like that okay that's fine and hit okay and go to the blending mode and make it soft light that's good yeah that's the effect for the cinematic look that's good and press ctrl t and make it a bit smaller like that yeah that's good and now i'll add some areas over there so how to do that so go to the shape tool and take a rectangle which is like that yeah that's good and make this one white color yeah that's fine and then take the background layer and make copy by pressing ctrl j and take this one and press ctrl t and make it smaller like that yeah that's good and hit the tick button and now select this one and turn it off and select this rectangle right press and the restylize the layer and press the delete button it will cut and i'll delete this layer and i'll keep this layer so that's fine and now i'll work with the model for the light or other stuff so select this one and then go to the filter and camera filters and from here increase the highlight and go to the yellow portion and just increase that and hit ok yeah that's good and now again go to the filter and here is the styles and wheel paint so i'll make the wheel paint like that so that's good from here i'll take a new background layer the blank layer so go to the just here the color palette and i'll take the red color like that and select once and uh, blending mode and make it a screen like that and take another blank layer and take the blue color from here this blue color yeah that's good and select once and just go to the blending mode and make it a screen like that and press ctrl t and i'll place it out over here yeah that's fine and now i will work with the city so go to the filter and camera filter and i'll increase the contrast and i'll make it like that and clarity as well and hit ok so that's fine and now i'll go to the brightness and contrast so go to the adjustment layer and go to the levels options and adjust the brightness and contrast and other stuffs like that yeah that's good and then i'll take the background a little bit like that yeah that's fine and 
select this model again and go to the filter and camera raw filter and i'll add some shadow little bit shadow over here and hit okay so that's good and here the blue red color i'll decrease the blue opacity a little bit and red feel a little bit yeah that's good and adjustment here from the layer adjustment i'll make it like that yeah that's fine and in this portion go to the adjustment layer and go to the gradient options and see the gradient color like that and make it a radial and reverse and make it zero degree and make the flow like that and just bring it here and just decrease the opacity so i'll apply the color look up over here yeah that's good and the gradient over here yeah that's good this one is the frame so press ctrl t this one press ctrl t and make it a little bit upper like that down like that yeah that's good and now i'll add the texture text and other stuff so go to the file and place embedded options from here i'll add some awards like that so in this portion and then go to the file and place embedded options and from here the cast and queue here yeah. so make the blending mode into like color dodge yeah that's good and now i'll write down something over here so i'll go to the text tool and write down something the city i'll provide you the font and check out my video description so i'll take the font like that so like dark color font and hit the tick button and place it out in the middle so that's good so right press and go to the blending options from here i'll add the drop shadow like that but this one so the opposite will be like that and the distance will be like that yeah that's fine so if you need you can change the color of the font so go to the character if you want to get the character over here go to the window and from here character so i'll make the color like this yeah that's fine so our poster is ready so if you want to get the download link of the resource file please check out my video description hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend so don't forget to subscribe and share with your friend and until the next video, I am ASMR signing out today. Bye-bye.